Yo, what up, compadres? Welcome back to another episode. It's your host with the most from the West Coast, SB Press, reporting live from Mastermind Media. Just want to say thank you guys for tuning in as always. To my right, Ilsa himself. You're yeah. And also to my right, Joe Rosati himself. What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> we laugh every week at this guy. <laughs> and then he gets me again. And ladies and gentlemen, we've got a special guest in the house. The man, the myth, and the legend. Entrepreneur. The freaking master artist. The master engineer. The master producer with this long haul hard seltzer. Let's go, compadres, and let give it up for Mr. James K. Yeah, yeah, what's up, guys? That's right, that's right. And ladies and gentlemen, let's go. Let's go. Hey, what, what's his new nickname? You know, Sugar P. Sugar Man. No, Sugar, Sugar Man, Man P. P. There we go. Mark just dropped Sugar Man P. I think that's going to stick. Yeah, <laughs> I think it will. I, I think it's a good one. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have an awesome, <laughs> awesome guest. Yeah, we're going to we gonna Sugar Man. <laughs> Slide on in to our amazing guest today, ladies and gentlemen. Gotcha. Not only did he bring some gifts, he brought his own establishment. He's a proud owner of this awesome long haul haul hard seltzer. Sorry, That's saying right. all it together. Yep. Had a long tongue twister. Hard seltzer. Okay. It's a mouthful. It, it, oh, we going we going I'm be sure if you have about twelve of them, some people will be a real. Mouthful. Rolling off tongue too. Right, right, right. right. <laughs> so on top of all of that. Dope engineer, dope producer, dope artist. Artist. Thank you, man. Awesome entrepreneur. Thank you, man. Thank you for being here, Mr. James yeah, K. Yeah, Thank you for a, come, a, have, a, making the time to come, yeah, my man. man. Appreciate Happy you. to be here with the compadres, man. Yeah. Appreciate you guys. Thank you. No, I appreciate you. Appreciate <laughs> yeah. you. For sure. Mr. DJ. Blanco. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. DJ Blanco, 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 Blanco. <laughs> <laughs> wow, oh, wow, wow, wow. All <laughs> right. Where are we starting? So... Let's start before we get into. We should start with open yes, one. Yes, exactly. I'm Let's dying start. Go, I'll have one. Brother. I'm right, down. Please. Yeah, so, please. express this amazing establishment so, to our, our so, listeners and viewers at so home. Here you go. Um, Let me pop that for you. Yeah, Let me please. Do mm-hmm. the pleasure, so man. The, you brought uh, us right. right. Actually, this is you. The long haul hard seltzer, man. It's uh, um, very drinkable. <laughs> You know, it's a drinkable uh, mm-hmm. seltzer. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Right. We're going to do that. Uh, right. get them out. Get some the boys. Cheer. Uh, the Long Haul Boys, man. We're all from the Central Coast. We're out here in L.A. doing our thing. We got our recording studio. Um, basically, during the pandemic, we just, you know, just like everybody else, we became alcoholics. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we just started drinking. In the studio. I'm still we're recovering. Like, we're like, damn, we're drinking so much beer. So we're like, like man, we, should we just try the, uh, you know, the other <laughs> seltzer now? That we're, we're like, So we got into that and it just became like a joke. We just started pushing it. We're like, man, you know what? One night we're like, we should make our own one of these, man. And like, at that point, it was like a drunk idea, and but right. like here we are. So, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. and this is to you for Thank you so much. Cheers. Thank yeah. you for this awesomeness. First time. Let's see. Uh, yeah, that's better wow. than beer. Yeah, that tastes wow. really good. Man. Wow, just clean. Let's go again. Let's go again. Yeah, you can. Um, it's got like really good blackberry taste mm-hmm. too, man. It's you not too taste. strong, not too sweet. I can personally tell you that you, you can drink a lot of these. Yep. <laughs> What's the alcohol content in this? So these are 5.5. Okay. So they're a little stronger than the other seltzers on the market. Yeah, you can taste it. Uh, like, delicious. Yeah, 93 I mean, you got calories, that blackberry flavor in there, but you can yeah. taste like it's got and some, like got some booze already. in it. Man. I had to check y'all cups because I'm, you know. Nice, bro. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It, it's got like a, 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 a real clean taste, like you no, it's, said, it's man. It's very clean. Absolutely. Thank you, hey, man. You guys go and, and pick these up. And they're, hopefully I don't have to take a piss. Link will be in the description. <laughs> you guys the description. will see these. Very, very. Glad very you guys simple. like it. Dude. For sure, dude. Yeah, yeah we're going to be sipping these throughout I've the I've been episode. a bartender for years, so mm. I know. Like I when, when I talked to you outside, I was like, I'm interested because, dude, all those other ones, man, they're just sugar and just yeah. number one it's sugar. Just, it, is, it just tastes like sugar. That's all it is. It's not tasting fake. That's just yeah. like. I, can't, I truly cannot get down with those mm-hmm. things. Yeah. They're garbage. I could do this, though. Yeah. And I'm not just saying that because you're on here. This is, it, it tastes this? more like a, like a kind of like a cocktail. Yeah. yeah. It, it does. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, because you guys last, know because I don't last drink here. I don't drink beer. Last doesn't drink beer. At all. And the fact that he. Hit this thing but twice. This is, this is, this is I could I could do like a six pack of this and be good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's cool. That's yeah, really no good, vibe. man. No so, what, so how many flavors do you have? So it's just this one right now. We're we're okay. um, looking at um, we're getting on the production schedule with our partner who who's making them and 
you know, getting the feedback from everybody right. and seeing what they like and, um, you know, still making tweaks. This is just a V1 V1 can, man. So it's our very first one. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's about the long haul. Exactly. Long you. game. Yeah, long sure. haul. Thank For you. Sure. Thank you. That's Why right. don't you take us into uh, what we do every week? So, week. yes. This is our segment that we've been throwing at the, you know, ladies and gentlemen for a few weeks now. Dope. It's called Let It Fly. Okay. So we're going to throw some images back here for you. And uh, when first thing come to mind, you Dope. just let it yeah. fly, brother. Hey, let no it peeking, fly. no peeking. What do you say? No peeking, please. <laughs> no peeking. Okay, so. So we'll do like a snake. You'll see the first one. You say what you think. And mm-hmm. we'll come down. Then we'll run back. And you'll see. You'll oh, see. so you guys don't see it, but no, I see no, it? No, 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 no peeking. No peeking. We all look at, look at no camera. No peeking. Then we look at the same time. Uh, I actually so close my eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually close my eyes. We'll all look. At first, you know, first response. All right. Three, two, one. Ooh. Um, ooh. Ooh. Start us off there. I know you know what that is. Shit. Man. What do I got to say about that? I don't know. I wish I was in Vegas. Man. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> what do you got to say, P? What do you got, P? I need everybody to run me my money. Run me my money. And um, you know what? Yeah. Because I personally have ties with Ryan and stuff like that. People have seen my stuff. He, he comes by a while. And I've known, him, I've known the gentleman since he was 12. I know he's going to bounce back from this for a fact. One thing about him is he's very, very resilient and he's committed. So as long as he keeps those two things and actually have people behind him, he'll be fine. He'll be right. fine because yeah. that abandonment after the, all that. Yeah. 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 Right. I mean, you know, I, we've seen everything that's came out since, uh, you know, Javante hugging his mom, Ryan's mom. And, mm-hmm. you know, it, 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 the fighting game is vicious, but, you know, at the same time, these guys are all, all competitors and gladiators. So, uh, but Javante showed who is king of that division. So, I don't want to talk about who lost the bet. Hey, hey, I, I'll say it. I lost the bet. I bet on Ryan. You guys got me. How much you, how much you lose? Not much. Not much. What, 20, not what much. you guys do? Not 20 much. spots. 20, 20 spots. Yeah. yeah. Keep it um, interesting. Yeah, you know, because exactly. I was hanging out with you guys earlier and then I had to do that private event, but I find two things interesting about this whole fight mm-hmm. because I didn't get to really watch it. I watched some clips. I saw the knockdown. First of all, that was, I mean, I haven't seen a body shot like that in a long time. So that was, well, I watched about five or six times. But the other thing is, you guys know when I was back home. And I saw everybody when we sat down and there was a debate going on. And I told my boy, he he was saying he wanted, he said eight, but he was going to take seven and a half. I told him, don't take seven and a half. Right. But anywhere way you go, don't take the hook. Yeah. And then when it went seven, I was like, bro, we've, we talked about it for 15 minutes. Yeah. And it's crazy. That's how many rounds went with seven. Yeah. So, you know what I mean? It was. He predicted that too. Right. Yeah. yeah let's go to the next one. All right. No peeking. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh. Uh, you know what? I think we should, instead of doing the snake, I hey, think man, we should let our guests job, start. Mark. No, that was a yeah, good job, yeah, Mark. Yeah, that's that. nice. Mm-hmm. That was a good job, Mark. Mm-hmm. We got that off the Beauty in this beast right here. So what's your, what, do you, what do you think about this picture here, man? Man, shout out to those guys. They're doing it big. You know, I just got to say, there's a reason why ours is a little stronger. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? A little stronger, a whole lot longer. Right. Hey. Hey. <laughs> what you I got love it. I love it. Straight to the point. Straight to the point. Yep. I've Honestly. had both. Uh and I will say, you know, Happy Dad is decent. There's they have different flavors, but the marketing and the branding behind them is just, you know, they that their their finances are crazy. I mean, they're spending, you know, and they're in distributor. They're talking to distributors and they're working in all stores now. So, but I tell you what, man, the taste is very, 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 very clean, and it's it's a great seltzer, bro. Dope, man. Seriously, thank you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoy, I don't drink seltzers, you know, so, mm-hmm. but like I just said, I know that <laughs> don't taste like this because this, this tastes like a cocktail, bro. Yeah. This tastes like, like a vo- mm-hmm. vodka, like blackberry soda-ish a little bit, you know, it's yeah. got that bite at the end to it. Yeah. And for a seltzer, I mean, it's, um, it's really good, bro. Thank sure. you. Man. You should be very proud of it. And Thank I can't you, wait man. till you become... I want to see all the flavors you have, and I'll try them all. And that's going to be competitive, yeah. But, I, but I'm, I'll tell you one thing: I'm going to try all that other <laughs> out there. <laughs> no, I don't like nah, white nah, claws nah, and nah, all that. You I, seen I they know. got the Sunny D yeah, seltzer no, now? They, no. That's too crazy, Come on. Man. No, it's crazy. No, crazy. I mean, it, because it, when they what they did was everyone knows what the beer comes. They came out with their own, yeah. and they all suck. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's fact. This Facts. this takes time, heart, and dedication. That's mm-hmm. why I show. appreciate it. Show what we got next. What we got next? No peeking. 
<laughs> Sony C800. Yes, go ahead. Yes, go ahead. Man. Hey, what you got to say? Uh, I, when I, I, I see that in a different light, then you guys are going to see it because I know you guys are engineers and everything else. And that changed my life. That's yeah. what that micro. No, the microphone period changed yeah. my life. Hey, I got yeah. you on a broader picture. Yeah. That's that's what all I have to say. Seriously. Well, that specific yeah. microphone produced most of the hits in the nineties, right. like my Mariah Carey, Boys to Men. Everybody used this. I mean, the game. Uh, Rihanna have this tattoo on their body, right? Yeah. Uh, and and even now, I mean, these are some of the most expensive. You know, this is a large diaphragm condenser mic, so it's like a you know how that goes. Mm. So the, the capture of the the actual vocal is so cool in this, and you know, it, it, and it. It kind of looks like a, a gun, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, it kind of does a little shooting bit. Shooting my uh -huh. shots, yeah. Uh -huh. So that's why it's so popular. I, I, I love that. Yeah, that's why I, I knew you would, you nice. would know no, about that's, that. Yeah. That's crazy, bro. Like, I didn't know that um, all those people recorded on that back oh, in the man. day. Mm -hmm. 90s, bro, that mm -hmm. was that was yeah. the number one. I mean, you know, you hear Newman now, but, you know, and you see what's what the new mics are now. But these, I mean, these are still very, very prominent in the game for sure. What do you think, Pete? Well, as a kid, you know, running around with Tutu, sometimes the studio sessions because she has to drop off things or just check on things. <laughs> right. I've seen these so many times with, I don't like to name drop or anything like that, but I've seen some of the best yes. record on right, this. Right, right. You know, and it's just been, it's just been, a, uh, I guess, a game changer for sure with the, the range that it picks up and stuff yeah. and the output that it gives too. So, uh, I mean, yeah, for sure. Man. It's a legendary piece of equipment it is that's dope yeah man yeah i mean uh you know we're from a small town like my boy sean ross really he does most of the engineering and stuff so we're used to just like recording in the bedroom like right. the right. closet and shit and just like figuring it out so right. to be in big studios now is just a, it's a it's a blessing but i've seen like you said like a big big artist like in a hotel room with a with a sure mic, like a performance <laughs> mic, yeah. like rapping into the laptop. Yeah. Yep. And I'm like, he's gonna re-record this, right? And the engineer's like, no, no. Bro, no <laughs> I'm like, what the hell? Like, this is like crazy. Insane. Mm -hmm. So it's just like nowadays, like however you want to get down, like it's 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 really you know the sky's the limit. Right. It is. Yeah. It really is, man. For mm -hmm. sure. For sure. Uh, like I think we got. A, I think we got another one, right? Yeah, one more. Yeah. One more. Okay, and no peek. Oh man! Mm. Nice image. Yeah. What's Boulevard that? of Broken Dreams. <laughs> Actually, that's Ventura Boulevard. That's where they go to die. All the broken that's dreams. Where they, that's where they go after they're dead and. And I live, yeah, and I live off of Ventura Boulevard. Oh so man! You know. yeah. <laughs> that's down the hill for me. Like no, I love Ventura, man. Ventura's my vibe. It's fun. Yeah. Yeah. Boulevard's the vibe for sure. Definitely got to catch you out there then one of these times, brother. <laughs> yeah. Holly weird, bro. Yeah. You got to love took it. it out. Yeah. You took it out of my mind. Yeah, you got to love it. Yeah. yeah um, all I think of is just all the weirdness that goes on with this and all the uh, behind the scenes things that they talk about in the industry behind, you know, the name and also the Hollywood sign. That, that, that's all I got right now for that because there ain't much, you know, to say really positive about it. <laughs> <laughs> You gonna go into the conspiracy? No, nope, not going down that rabbit hole. Nope. Uh, I'll be quick too. <laughs> That's funny. Nope. I what type of podcast is this, man? <laughs> <laughs> I grew up in Michigan. How I used to see Hollywood, and I, would, you know, I'd be like, "Wow, you know, Hollywood, Hollywood, Hollywood." I got out here. I quickly realized Hollywood is not what it's cracked up to be. You know, mm -hmm. so. Uh, the homelessness, the, yeah. you know, the, the uh, Holly weird, as you all say. And then, and when you multiply that, when you rise up in the ranks and you actually get to deal with some celebrities and people that right. are moving and grooving, you actually see what, what's behind the scenes and it's hard to be a part of. So yeah, I agree it. with that. Yeah. It's a f mess. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Mess. That's all I have to say. I'm not gonna go. I'm not even getting man. deep to this. I'm just gonna call it what it is. Oh, man. <laughs> Joe is gonna come. You got it, Mark. Yeah. No. He's no. He like, nope. You took it. You took it. All right, the Padres. Let's That's take this funny. back into this awesome podcast. Yes. Yeah, so let's get back to a story, man. Okay. So yes, tell us how this all began for you, my brother. Where oh, you originally man. from, and how'd you end up here? Yeah. I'm from the Central Coast, California, man, the 805, so bounced around there. Where'd you grow up on the 805? What, what's I, was, I was born in Santa Barbara, lived okay. in Ojai for a while, okay. got kicked out of there, 
and uh, headed up to San Luis Obispo. Oh, you're from Slow. Yeah, spent a lot of time in Slow. See, I'm from Salinas. No one ever guessed that. Yeah, but yeah, I love from Salinas. Slow. Yeah, I'm from Salinas, dude. So. Man, that's dope. Not really. We yeah. can talk later. <laughs> Man, I've been, really. I've, I've, I've been see, through there a bunch of times. Yeah. Bro, had my truck break down there, and I had to spend, <laughs> had to spend it two days there. And so. Good Mexican food up there. No, that is, that is the damn truth. Uh, no, there's a lot of good people there. I mean, yeah. it's, uh, it's a little bit of a crazy farm, town. Farm, farm town. Yeah. Yeah. It's funny. So, you got a cool voice, though, man. I, mean, I, mean, I thought this guy was, like, from New York. Yeah, man. Man. Everybody like, that comes says the, the same. Go ahead, go ahead and yeah. add him to the list. He got yeah, that mob ties voice. I know. We got it. But that's where I'm from. Not to take away from you, but you're slow, baby. I mean, I know about slow. California, man. Slow's awesome. So slow to Hollywood. And then, yeah, been been. In LA now, like I said, we opened the studio, and at first we were just renting studios, and just like we would, we would get the four hour block in the middle of the night and stay eight hours because you know no one's coming to check right. on you know. Right, right, right. Man. Like, man, we can't be staying up till seven a.m. all the time. <laughs> <laughs> all this money and like, so we got our own, and it just like it just kind of went from there, man. Like kind of the the story that that you were telling about, like when you just sort of focus on it, just sort of like took off, and, and that turned into us working with a bunch of independent artists and like. You know, even before that, I wasn't engineering or anything. I was just like songwriter. Right. So I'm like, oh, shit, I could like manage this part of this business or whatever. And working with other artists, that turned into working with label artists. And, you know, got, got lucky a couple times, you know, and, mm -hmm. you know, had some, some things go our way. And so, you know, then fast forward, like I, always putting music out, you know, but then just like getting into the um, the touring side of things, like recently mm – -hmm. I was on tour and uh, with uh, another artist we work with, Cody Balboa, and our DJ had to go home. Mm. So I was like, well, shit, like, I, I know how to press play. <laughs> <laughs> and I know how to like talk to the crowd. So yeah. it's like, even if I wasn't like perfect on that, I was like, every time I f up, I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Started it's talking. Presence. and um, got you, got you, got you. Yeah. And uh, so that's how that came about. And um, just really enjoy. Uh, you know, music because all the people I get to work with, you know, like all the artists right. and just yeah. like that, that world is just, just definitely keeps me, uh, keeps me entertained. Sick, man. Yeah. Uh, how would you advise like new creators, new artists, how would you advise them to get like management and, and, and or if that's a good option for them, yeah. something to build their brand? No, for sure. I think, um, for me, there was times when I wanted to switch what I was doing. Like, I was like, you know, I was like, damn, I need someone that can, like, make beats. So maybe I should start making beats. And and I realized, like, pretty early, it was like, man, if I just get really good at what I'm doing and then let the other people do what they're good at, you know, what I enjoy, then all those people will kind of start coming together, you know. So just focus on what you're good at, you know, what you love the most to do and just keep doing that. Like, get as good as you can at that and the right people will find you. Right. Yeah. One hundred. Mm -hmm. uh, for sure. Message. Do do these artists do, do if you're if you're coming up though? Do you need a manager? Do you need somebody? Do you need something a direction or is it like when you hit a certain level you need a manager? Yeah. I think it depends on what type of artist you are. You know, I think nowadays like you can go on YouTube and learn what you need. But if you're not the type of artist that wants to do the business and you just you know you favor the create the creative stuff, and you right. don't like business, you don't want to do it. Then yeah, like. Link up with your buddy who, you know, loves business but maybe isn't creative like you, you know. Yeah. Start, like, where you're at. I think a lot of people always trying to, like, oh, if I just get to this person, you know, but that person might not even do a good a job as your friend right here who's just as hungry as you, you know. Absolutely. So link up with people that are around you, next to you, that have a passion for what you're doing. Damn, that's, that's well interesting. Said. Damn, that's well said. I love yeah. it, man. Yeah. Love it. What Says how the compadres came together. <laughs> <laughs> What you got? What you got? What you got, Joe? So going into this whole, you know, because like I said, you're a man of many trades, but going into this whole business adventure here. Yeah. So is what I mean? Is the profit margin just I, crazy? I mean, is that's that what, what you're all trying to figure an out? Adventure. It's, yeah, a, right. it's not an adventure. It's an adventure. I'm like, I don't take that. Man. It's a business adventure. Man, because, um, like I said, this our, this our V1. We only got a couple hundred cases, so okay. you know, four thousand cans. I mean, we're still figuring out all the, um, you know, all the uh, stuff that it takes to make it legit, and you know, figure out the distribution and. And all that. So right now we're kind of just like 
it's a promo thing for us right now. You know, gotcha. like, if anything, we're like, oh, this is like a, making a T-shirt. You know, it's just like it's just That's a promotional true. thing right. for us right now that people can enjoy. We can enjoy, but with the feedback we've got, and I'm like, okay, let's figure out how to like. I didn't. I was like, damn! Like we started a whole new business, so we didn't even mean to. <laughs> didn't I, even I, mean to. Yeah, so. And those blow up hey, quick. That's yeah. what happened mm-hmm. organically, man. Exactly. Yep. That's that's the biggest thing, right? Uh, Enough, and, yeah, the but, more people drink this, they, there's no way they'll be able to turn it down. Yeah. None. So with that being no. said, though, and I, I I know you got something, but uh, I wanted to ask because I was very interested. Um, so with now that you're you got this out right, and it's kind of turned into just like a t-shirt, but yeah. you're still. How are you contacting, you know, distributors and branding? And what's the whole play behind that, like, yeah. with your team? Like, how do you guys handle that? Well, it's interesting, like, because um, I think, uh, well, I was talking to the brewers about this, and they were really excited to work with us because we kind of have an interesting position in, like, in something like this because most people who maybe start something, they're like, they just want to start a brand, but, like, we're already in music venues all across the country. Exactly. We already like right. know exactly. people who have festivals. Like we're already throwing parties, so it just kind of aligns with what we're already doing. Absolutely. And, I and, think and you see how much they charge for those beers. Bro, I'm not going to drop any names for a number of reasons, but yeah, exactly. For bro. A tall can yeah. of yeah. some of this some at a bo- festival, exactly. and I'm like. I'm you, like you looking at the margin, like, huh? <laughs> you can get a three pack oh. of the Tall Boys at CVS for ten bucks. Yeah, three like, of them. Like, y'all yeah, can keep rapping, crazy. man. I'm selling this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't like to clap on the yeah, mic. Of that. Yeah. Hey. yeah, mic drop right she- there. Man, <laughs> and, and continue though, bro. Yeah, that was I was gonna say. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, just uh, it's cool because we we know a lot of people that are like you know in the bar business right exactly you know, even like my homegirl she works at like, at Finney's and she's like that's like a I think there's one in Ventura there's one in Slow there's one right. in, there's a couple in LA it's just like she's like oh if you guys are like based in Southern California like we could probably put them on all so it's like it's just right there yeah. you know? so just stuff like that I think I think um just like anything if right. we, we we enjoy it so if we, we push it it'll it'll go you know Facts. Yeah. That's straight Dope, up. Dope, man. Good advice, man. I hope you guys are taking notes. <laughs> Initiate what you want reciprocated. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. What you got, P? All right, all right. So tell us how this awesome name of DJ Blanco came into existence. Oh, man. The, the myth of DJ Blanco. <laughs> DJ <laughs> Blanco. Yeah, Blanco. Blanco. I love how he Blanco. says myth. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Um, I'll keep doing that. I'll for you. Blanco, Blanco, Blanco. 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 <laughs> <laughs> uh, dun, 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 dun. Yeah, it's just like a plume of smoke and he disappears, man. So, that's, that's, uh, it's funny. So I was on that tour I was on over the summer with Cody, and we were on this tour with King Lil G. He's a like pretty famed Chicano rapper from LA, and yep. so you know, needless to say, ninety nine percent of everyone on this tour was all Hispanic, you know. Got you. And uh, Chicano, whatever, and so I'm the only white guy there. So they just like, <laughs> start calling me DJ Blanco. <laughs> Name, though, bro. It, it, it's exactly. just stuck. It just stuck because, like, I already had a song where I like said it, like, just like messing around, and it like already kind of was like mm-hmm. in people's heads. And then after that, it just like it just stuck, off. man. It's so, embedded so. now. Yeah, it's like my one, my one friend. Shout out to Big June. <laughs> I just went out to him. He's like, Blanco, no, you're DJ Rojo. Because he's like, back on my beard, you know? I'm like, you son of a <laughs> I'm like, that ain't sticking, bro. I was like, I was like, I was like yeah, I better not stick. <laughs> and uh, and uh, he was laughing, bro. And he, we, you know, me and him, we like to drink on the road and stuff. And he was like, about halfway through, he was like, DJ Blanco, man. Like, that's just dope. Like, he's, like, he's like, we're going to make t-shirts. Like, I want a percentage. You know, like, you know what I'm saying? So, on it, man. I'm sure. I look for the Instagram. Like, some guy already has. He has, like, 50 followers. Like, of course, right? Like, yeah. Hack this guy. That's how it goes. Man. Yeah, right. Yeah, hack him. <laughs> send him a case. He'll be happy. Yeah, oh, yeah. you overtake send, this. Send 50, I mean, you know. Send him a case. He takes that. He'll be like, you know what? Yes. <laughs> yeah, they take I it. I believe. YouTube but game I, is vicious. Yeah, one day I want to have the long haul hard sales or Blanco flavor man oh. so do you like Blanco tequilas in yeah oh yeah. I love it yeah. I mean yeah I'm well, pretty much uh, with the brand. depends on what vibe I'm in but I'm usually down for a for a cold drink you know what I mean? Ain't nothing wrong with that, my yeah. man. Like a uh, Colombian vibe, DJ Blanco uh-huh. in the can. That <laughs> well, that's like, you know, like the Gatorade dope, flavor, bro. the mystery flavor? Yeah. yeah. You know, it's like white. Uh-huh. It's like, like, what the hell is <laughs> this? You know? Maybe like that, you know? That's hilarious. Yeah. What the- <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, this, this is good. What is this? Uh-huh. What you got, Lance? I was going to ask, uh, so the, 
you know, the the record that I I've I really like of yours. I heard even before I even met you or knew you, you know, uh alcoholic. Yeah. And uh I wanted to ask a funny <laughs> mm-hmm. question. For the sure. visuals, by the way. Dope. Song, visuals, content, everything was really good, man. Thank Seriously, you, man. yeah. Thank you. I mean, I know you took your time on that. Yeah. Uh, was your girlfriend alcoholic at the time, or, <laughs> or was that just come? interpretation you know, of, yeah. of music? Because I know how it goes, writing yeah. lyrics. Yeah, so. And it was just kind of inspired by like maybe like a few different girls. Got gotcha, you, got gotcha, you, got gotcha. you. <laughs> it culminated into one thing, but like. Um, Actually, my boy Country Chris, shout out Chris, he, he kind of gave me that idea because, like, you know, he, him and I, I always share music with him, and we we go back and forth, and he's like, man, you need that one, like, you need that one, you know, like, mm-hmm. the my, girl, my Girl's an Alcoholic mm-hmm. song, you know, mm-hmm. and I took him literally. Right. You know? I was just like, you know what, like, let me see if I can play with that, and um, everyone I played it for was like, yo, what the hell, like, this yeah. is crazy, and so for, like, a whole summer, people were just playing it before it was even out. I'm like, you know what? I've always like really enjoyed, um, you know, like funny, like you know, Adam Sandler early movies, like right. Seth Rogen, mm-hmm. The right. Half Baked, right. like, all that mm-hmm. stuff. And I've always wanted to figure out a way to like put that into my art, even though like a, a lot of my music is more like um, that's how I express like my real emotions. You know what I mean? Right. So I'll use music for that, but I'm like, man, this could be a cool like opportunity to sort of put this different kind of spin on it. You know, Sick. and uh, yeah, that was, that's just how that came about, man. That's when we were really pushing like the other seltzer, which I, you know, I refuse to, <laughs> to talk about anymore. You know what I mean? I've so seen that. I wish we would have had this so one. I, know. I wish we would have had this one then, you know, but oh, man. It, it's all like a, it's all a process, now, man. Ops, man. God does what you yeah. can, man. That's, exactly. He gives you what you can handle. So, yeah, man, bro. Exactly. For sure, man. And definitely bigger and better things, brother. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Sure. But that song things. was fire. The visuals were so good. I was like, I, at first, when I seen it, I was like, who shot this video? I was yeah. like, this is dope. Nah, shout out Captain Vetus, man. Yeah, I've, been, yeah, I've been working yeah, with him for sick, a while, bro. Sick, that, that's, my, that's my brother. Skits were good, everything, mm-hmm. man. What Thanks, you got, man. Joe? So, um, <clears throat> sorry. <laughs> Joe, man, we gotta have a we gotta have a drink, man. <laughs> Bro, let me tell you something. I think uh, everything I'm still babysitting when, yeah. when you meet people from certain areas that you know, yeah, it's a little bit different. It is for sure. You know, I mean, because it because he says Central Coast, and that's uh-huh. where Selena says Central Coast, mm-hmm. and people get that twisted up. They always say NorCal. That's not that's Central Coast. No, it's not NorCal. Yeah. Yeah, it's a it's a big ass Central Coast. Mm-hmm. But um, shout out Mark. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. what was your inspiration mm-hmm. becoming a DJ? Same like getting spot. into that whole game. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I just, like I said, I Especially like being from slow. Yeah. Well, man, I just, I don't really know. I was, uh, like I said, I kind of moved around as a kid. I, like, you know, went, went like, um, just do just funny, dumb <laughs> that kids do. And just, like, always felt like mu- I just was attracted to music and writing right. and stuff. And I found myself, like, you know, just knowing so many songs. And, like, any song that came on the radio, like, I just, I could, I could, I could sing it. You know what I mean? And I knew the, exactly all the notes of the guitar solos. So they're just kind of like, I don't know, music was just something, it was like a, a real love of mine. And uh, just started writing songs. And, you know, I was like, oh, I'll figure out what I'm going to do later. But just writing songs and then ended up, you know, um, I guess I moved into L.A. and doing that whole thing. And then uh, the DJing was just sort of like a natural progression. I was like, you know, we needed it. And I was like, you know what? Like, I'm down. Like, I'm always down to just, like, get in. Like, like I always say, like, at the at the studio, like, I, I'm just a bartender, man. Like, I, like, I just take out the trash here, man. Like, whatever anybody needs, like, I'm down to do it. But, like, then, uh, so I'm just, you know, I just, uh, the, D, the DJ thing just kind of happened naturally, man. Yeah. That's awesome, bro. Yeah. It's awesome when things organically come, mm-hmm. you know, together. Mm-hmm. Just, what well, just... And you know, I would never be like like a, like I'm a real DJ because like even like as an actor, you know, yeah, like yeah, yeah. you could take an artist or someone who can like do some acting, mm-hmm. but it's like to be an actor is like very hard. Very you know hard. what I mean? Like to be a real DJ is like hard. hard. Like you got to know what the hell you're doing. Like even an engineer is like, yeah, I can get around a record, but like. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. You hear that act? You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Are, are, are like, you taking shots at academics? No, 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 no. What, what, what? <laughs> DJ, academics. Yeah. <laughs> he needs to lose Right, that. right. Yeah. Everybody's like, <laughs> mm-hmm. you know, so, um, yeah, just, you know, figuring out, I guess, like, what, what you're really good at. But, you know, just don't be afraid to try man. Right, like, for sure. And have fun with it. Well, it yeah. tells a lot to your character, man, because, you know, good people, things fall into their lap where they can, you know, make a move that, benefits themselves so yeah you know it just shows the character and the the person you are in life man thanks for man sure, yeah man. just try to stay open 
you know, open to possibilities. And uh, it's crazy. Like every time I've really been like, yo, like, let me like help out this situation. Like it always does more for me. Like it's crazy. Like, you know, just doing something like, okay, this is what's needed. It's like, damn, like, then I went on another tour two months later as a DJ when before I wasn't a DJ. Like that. Exactly. You get Shit lucky. Like yeah. <laughs> no, nah, man. I, I mean, you can call luck, but I think it's better if you treat people well and take care of people. I mean, yeah. they, there's some good people that will, you know, take care of people yeah. when they've done stunts from, you know. Yeah. I, mean, I think it's really been misconstrued over the years, especially with everything that went on. And I think there's some good people that will take care of people. I think that's awesome, man. Yeah. That's that's great to hear. Absolutely. Yeah, man. And I'm not perfect. I've done a lot of dumb Dude, all you know, of and, us, I, man. and I still still am. Yeah, so. Absolutely, all so, of us. Doing it, working on myself. Man. I might have yeah. done dumb <laughs> last night. <laughs> last night. Last night. Last night. Oh man, I'm thinking of dumb <laughs> do now. Yeah, yeah there you go. You I'm, I'm gonna do something tonight. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. You, you never know. Never know. Never know. Never never know. know what this day is gonna bring. What kind of stupid. <laughs> you're not laughing, you're not living. <laughs> you mean, right? I got a question. Yeah. Based on that note, how, uh, why'd you get kicked out of Ohio? Oh, man, I was smoking weed. <laughs> I was smoking weed when I was like 12 years old. <laughs> I was like 12 years old. I was smoking weed. My parents were like, You're smoking weed? <laughs> like, who the hell is this little kid? You know, like my mom was just like, oh, So was that Santa God. Barbara? Ohio's a really oh, small no, town. Just to that. Like, what else is she gonna do right there? Yeah, that's what everybody that's does. What I'm yeah. It's just like it's full of like hippies and hicks. <laughs> I'm going this way, man. I don't want to wear boots. I want to smoke pot, mom. Rat. So they were just like, oh, and my, my dad, my, my dad actually. Shout, shout out my pops. He went to Cal Poly for like two years and dropped out, and you know, just like did his own thing and. So slow, we would always go to slow and travel, and it was always like a topic in our family. Like, should we move there? Should we not? Right, Whatever. Right. And at that time, shout out my parents, man. They were like, nah, we got to go, bro. Like, let's just, because they, he knew that was going to follow us. Right. You know, it's such a small town. Right. And he's just like, man, let's, let's bounce. Yeah. It's a scenery. You know? Yeah. It. So that really helped me, too, because I like going into a new place and just being like, all right. Right. Kind of know what's going on a little bit, like, <laughs> especially more than a lot of these other kids, you know. Just, yeah. Now, as a kid, what was some of the type of musical influences that you had? Like, who were the artists that you were listening to? Who did your parents put you on? Yeah. Like, 12 years old, smoking yeah. weed. Yeah. Well, it's funny. Yeah. Dude, when you said Mariah Carey, like, that was the, that was the first CD I ever bought. Get it high. Dude, really? I was in I fourth grade, bro. I was in fourth I'll be, like, watching and uh, TRL, like, oh, wow. and, like you, know, you gotta go to school, like, one more. <laughs> and uh, and uh, so I've saved up my money, man. I got the little five disc changer with the cassette, so you, you know, you could burn the CD, you could burn yes. the CDs. And oh, yeah. And I got the Mariah Carey, uh, the butterfly CD, yep. and I was like, man. Girl, right? <laughs> that Bone Thugs and Harmony, that song, huh? That, yeah, I think that one. I, yeah, I remember that song. Oh yeah, and then because I had older brothers, bro, so I was just like punk rock, reggae, classic rock, like you know all the hip hop, right? You right. know, so I, I was definitely just just loved music, man. Well versed, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, man. It That's all comes that. out too. It does. Like yeah. Whatever song I'm gonna make, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what song I'm going to make beat. next. Yeah. Oh, man. Engineer, hear yeah. the beat. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Do you freestyle or are you just, are you writing? You're pen heavy or what do yeah. you Yeah. Um, I like to write, but what I'll do is usually I'll find like a sample that I like, just like a loop. And then I'll just like, uh, we'll go, how we write at our studio mostly is we'll just like hum and do melodies over stuff and find stuff that I like, okay, this is dope right here. Like this is catchy. I'll, I'll, it'll usually make me think of a word and I'll sort of go off that. And then I'll arrange, you, you know, because you can chop everything up Absolutely. now. Just like mm-hmm. arrange those melodies in a way. I'm like, this sounds like a good song. Yeah, right. Let me just write to this, you know, so mm-hmm. write to those melodies. That's sick, man. Yeah. Yeah, I think a lot of artists are influenced by that now, definitely. You know, you'll, you'll see some that come in and off the drugs and they'll just freestyle. But mm-hmm. most of the time, you know, you, you see someone come in with their notepad, you know it's going to be you're in for a good session. Yep. Right? It's like, that's the notepad now. But like, yeah, exactly. A lot of the that's, young that's, kids that we work with, bro, they'll do line by line. Yeah, yeah. Punch, like, punch, 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 punch. And I'm like, damn, I know this is going to be a long ass long, session. Oh, God. All them punch and shit. Yeah, yeah I'm like, okay. Give me back in them, back in them. Hold up. So there's no more back. Pack yeah. rap, man. Nobody's really do that again. Like, there is. <laughs> oh, they'll, they'll, go, they'll go. No, 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 no. Hold up. This shit. One more. Run it back. No, 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 no. Hey, hey, punch me back. back. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what the thing is? You know the thing they say? One more time. One, one more time. time. I'm like, I wish it was one, one more time. time. <laughs>
30 more. Yeah, yeah. Nah, I wish it was. That's the thing. Okay. So true, bro. Man, that so sounds like remember that Timmy T song, One More Try, or whatever the it was when he says one more time. That's what I'm thinking of. You guys remember that <laughs> back? Yeah, 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 yeah. He did one. He used to hang out with Fresno when we go Fred, when I was because I went to Fresno State. He will. Black yeah. ass, dude. I, I have stayed a, on a Bulldog. I'm a Bulldog. Bulldog. Yeah. Yeah. But no, it's funny when he does that. Do it again. Da, 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 da. That's why I don't listen <laughs> he loves to him. calling it, on me, like right? <laughs> That's why I don't live because, well, I mean, it's, it's I have an E40 nowadays. in my car yeah. bumping right now. That's what I listen to. I don't. It's that more melodic, shit. you know. Yeah, it's I more, know. you know. It's it's a, it's, a, it's a different wave. I've had an artist. I'm not going to say his name. Come in and you know fall asleep at the studio mm. at the at the mic, you know. And then he wakes up, and I'm like, dude, you, your record label spent so much money on yeah. on what you're Send doing him right now, me, bro. Yeah. <laughs> We'll build, build that. <laughs> right? Yeah, I came in, took a nap. <laughs> That's nine hundred bucks. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm like, whoa, bro. Take a chill pill. Man. Yeah, that's funny. We man. we had an <laughs> artist come in and do that one time too. He was like, yeah, he actually huge artist now. It's young kid. at the time. He was maybe only sixteen. It was a few years ago. So, right. Yeah. Well, all right. Just came in and just on the couch. Just, <laughs> okay. Dope. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. You on them perks. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All, lean. all of the above. Uh, yeah. yeah. Man. What you got? Me? what he's on. Right. 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 <laughs> I can't function off that sandy. No, None neither. of that, man. I me just neither. it now, just doesn't work for me. Now, because you're talking about studio sessions and everything, what's the most? Well, what's the longest studio session you had? Oh, uh, ooh, I don't know. I swear, when we first came to LA, bro, back in those days when we like we get the nine o'clock slot or the ten o'clock slot, you know, because it would be cheaper. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we're supposed to leave at two, and then we're like. No, he's coming. You know, we can stay till seven. Like, like, <laughs> how long can we stay? Like, Damn. we'll stay till somebody comes. It's like two o'clock the next day. They're like, you guys are still here, <laughs> <laughs> looking like zombies. Just like, oh god, it's like three thirty back. They're just like, yeah, we have a problem. <laughs> I'm Sw sorry. Switch studios from yeah. you're in A, and you go to B, and then yeah. you see. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So ooh, uh, ooh, ooh. that's funny. <laughs> we used to do that. So funny. Yeah. Bro. So funny. What you got, Joe? Um. I don't know what I got. I got some. <laughs> okay, then Lance, hit Let some me pose brother. this. And this this statement came from seven, I think it was 705 AD. Mm. Japanese oh, wow, Jesus. He's Japanese culture, out. right? I'm going to oh. take you guys there. Okay. So the statement says, uh, it's, bamboo that bends is stronger than an oak that resists. Mm. Can you guys elaborate on that statement for me? Imply it to your lives. And if that's something that you- Say you that can, one more time. Said it says bamboo that bends is stronger than oak that resists. A person that can ad adjust and adapt to their surroundings is never out of place. There you go. That, that's kind of what I took from that. Yeah, that's hard. That's hard. That is yeah. hard, P. Oh, sugar P, man. Yeah. Sugar man. Yeah. Sugar man. Sugar sugar man oh man. No more candy man, ladies and gentlemen. Sugar, sugar, sugar man. man. P. Be your sugar man. <laughs> I mean, I was having this discussion with someone the other day, and when I think about it, it's like, you know, when people say that um, don't open up old wounds, I don't understand what that means. Because if, you, if you're if you leaving that wound open for a reason, okay? Why? Yeah, I don't know. Let it go. And then when you talk about, when we talk about bamboo, bamboo is one of the strongest things in the world. It is, but it does bend. Exactly. So you're bending to go and waiting to go ahead and clean that wound. Yeah. That's the way I look at it. Yeah. That you, reminds you? me of something. It's like, you got to let the wound become a scar. Yeah, exactly. You keep picking at it and f***ing with it. It's like, yep. it's just going to stay like yep. that, man. Yep. You got to let it heal. Mm -hmm. You know, it's still there. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. It don't hurt no more. Bro. Right. I'm we still, still healing. We still healing, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. No, for sure. <laughs> that bamboo is cool, man, because it's like, kind of goes back to what we were saying, like, just being open. Yeah. You know, being open and being ready. Like, when I met you, bro, it was just like, just good vibes, you know? I'm like, I don't know what you got going on or or you don't know what I got going on, but it's just it's just cool vibes, you know? So it's like, let's see what we can do. And right. And he's been A1 since day one, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. And with him doing all these awesome things, he does never, he, he never is above. It's always even with him. So yeah. I appreciate you, brother. Yeah, absolutely. Appreciate you. And the bamboo, the, another crazy thing about that, doesn't it grow like wow. hell yeah. 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 under the ground, right? It does, yeah. It mm -hmm. grows. And then, and then like, what, it takes like five years to even go five feet? It does. And then yeah. in the next three years, it goes like 100 feet. 100 or feet. Crazy. Well, like see, that. I have a little one in my little patio. And I'm, when I say little, this, it, I mean, it's like where this carpet is. It's yeah. very small. And I have one. Dude, I got to cut that thing like two or three times a year now. Yeah, it's about to take, it's about like taking off now. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. 
It's crazy how the panda eats that too, right? Yeah, it's the strength. Yeah. And, no. well, most people think the oak is the strongest, but you know that's what like we like you guys all elaborated. Elaborated. It's it you know being able to move with everything that's going on in life, man. For sure. That's nice. Well, with the punches <laughs> and everything. I like that one. Okay. What's the uh, so since you've been on getting on doing your thing? What's one of the biggest uh, purchases you've made? Oh, one of the biggest purchases. Yeah. Probably, probably these yeah. <laughs> Starting a, that business. Yeah. yeah, doing yeah. that. I mean, I'm thinking on like personal level, like new, new gear, new no, car, new chain. I new... don't really buy shit like gotcha. that. Like, um, you know, I'm all in right now. Mm-hmm. You know, all money in, especially when you're running five, like, like doing five things. It's like, damn, like, am I doing too much? You know, just like spreading it. But it's like, that's what I kind of like about like doing different things is I never get bored. Right. right. You know, right. and just staying and growing all that stuff at, at once. Absolutely, yeah. man. I hear that, man. That's that's a good for sure. Good way to play the game right now yeah, because you can, having more, you know, irons in the fire is is the way to go, especially mm-hmm. in this business, the entertainment business. Oh, yeah, of course. Right. Oh. I think we're about to buy a truck though for this. Hey, oh. hey get it wrapped up. Oh Heck yeah. yeah, plaster it all over. So it's all so it so you, hey, if you're gonna start out small, you can be like the ice cream man, bro. Just drop that. <laughs> Off people, you know? that's that's a good idea. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or do like role models and just get the big candidates on the back of the truck? Yeah, yeah. Right. I'll do that. I'll do that. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what? Uh, I want ten percent for that though. Who's the, yeah yeah? We gotta talk off. I'm out. Uh, yeah. I'm done. <laughs> What's the? Uh, it was this rock band. I forget who it was. I think it was like Ozzy Osbourne, something like that. No, Alice Cooper. Oh, gotcha. And they were in. They were in uh, England, and they were trying to sell tickets for their show. And they had his face like on the side of a truck, and he just like during rush hour, like they had this guy go drive down there and just park it and just pretend like it wouldn't move. So it's just all backed up, like everything. <laughs> like, like we're gonna arrest you right now. He's like, I don't know, like it's not moving. And like everybody's like, who is this guy? I mean, like, imagine just like Hollywood Boulevard, five p.m. Dude, like on a Friday, just like long haul. Like, I don't know how long it'll last. I have to pay you to be the driver. Like, hey. like, I don't know what's happening, man. I have no idea. Where are these cameras coming yeah, from? Yeah, exactly. Call, call the news. Oh yeah, there's something going on down there. I don't know what it is. What's just going? a concerned citizen? You know. Oh man, we spoke about it off camera a little bit, but uh. Let's talk a little bit about your tour time, who you were on there with, and, and the experiences you had, green rooms, uh, you know, mm-hmm. hotel life, mm-hmm. uh, all that, man. Yeah, I love the road, man. Love the road. But since I've been back, it's been nice. I've just been locked in, nice little flow, and just, you know, going at it. But being on the road, there's nothing like it, waking up in a new city, and just like, you know, I like to take my time in the mornings and just like spend time alone. So I'll go out. I, I love coffee. I'll drink a coffee. I'll just walk around, like, look at stuff, and... It's inspiring, man. And, right on. You know, like Atlanta was a crazy group. We were just on the road with Eric Bellinger and, you know, yep. go R&B artist, songwriter, yep. watching Facts. him perform every night and, mm-hmm. and just seeing people sing his songs is just so dope. And, you know, Trevor Jackson was on that tour. And, and uh, we're on a tour with Lil June. That's who I was with. And it's just, like, dope just uh, being out there and just watching people connect with music, you know. It's inspiring. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Man. So Atlanta, huh? Yeah. What else? Oh, the what Atlanta else? green room was crazy. Like, cause there was just so many like um, other stars there, you know. Cause Eric so tapped in. And yeah. Was, like a lot of people were there, and then, I mean, man, some of my favorite cities. Vegas was crazy. Vegas, mm-hmm. Vegas. Is so crazy. It's just like, yeah, you're in Las Tour Vegas. or not? Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> and then uh, you know what I always say, Orlando. Oh, Orlando. Orlando. The prettiest <clears throat> girls, man. I don't yeah. Know oh, what wow. I was out there. Well, I guess they say magic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know what exactly. Uh, Orlando sugar Magic man. out there? You know? Sugar, <laughs> sugar <laughs> Man. I need a Sugar Man jersey or something. You know, we're going to figure that out. Figure that out. Yeah. Yeah. I, know. I You know, I've been there once, but I've, I've never been there. Central but Florida Denzel, University yeah. or whatever it was. Yeah. Like, I don't know what it was like. CFU. It's like the, yeah, it's like the LA of the East Coast kind of. Too. I don't know. That's the vibe right, I got. Yeah, Maybe Santa some, Barbara. Maybe yeah, Santa gotcha. Barbara of East Coast. I don't know. It was weird. Rich, posh. Because when I think of Disney, Disney. Cool. All that stuff, I think of Disney World. And if LA, if everybody's coming here to just go to Disneyland, then I can only imagine what Disney World is like with all the people yeah. that go. And just and that's in Orlando. And just like, yeah, it's like different type of different type of people out there. Baddie, sure. baddie, baddies. Yeah. I think it, I think I, what's that city called, Mark? Uh, is it what that Boca? 
Raton. There we yeah. go. That's that's that area, right? I think so. Yeah, that's yeah, like, yeah. Boca Raton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that's that's a very posh area for sounds sure. Sounds like we need to do a podcast. Big yeah. money. Yeah, it's like <laughs> Dominican girls in Puerto Rico. Yeah, right. Right. Welcome yeah. on yeah. 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 Welcome on Right, right, like, right, right. Like right. Whole, Baddies. Yeah. Yeah, but then like you go to some town like Billings, Montana. It's just like, <laughs> people are just like down to party, dude. It's just like nothing's going on. Like the circus came to town. They're just like, great, you just do whatever. Dude. It's just like, whoa. Just come, to, come to dinner at my whoa, house after your show. Yeah. <laughs> at Midwest, man, it's different. Now, is there a, like a big city that you have not been to that you want you want to perform at? Mm. Um, you know what? I, I never, we never did Chicago. Mm -hmm. And I've just heard great things about Chicago, like the food and the city, and just so I, I know it's like really sketchy there. Stay also, uptown. too, right yeah. now for sure. But, but yeah, just stay uptown, you'll be fine. Yeah, man. yeah, just don't go to South Side, don't yeah. go to the West Side, stay right. in downtown. Lance informed me. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, I, yeah, trust me, you'll be fine, man. Lance got to break down every city in, in the United States. It's beautiful so it's good. out there, man. Yeah, and uh, I want to go to Boston. Um, my my dad's side, all their their families, all from over there. So I went when I was a kid, but never, never right, really right. made it back. Didn't get to perform mm. there yet. We did New York. Yeah, yeah my dad's side from yeah. New York. So. And Philly was dope. Philly, two twos from Man, Philly. So Philly was dope, and DC, and it was crazy. Like, yeah, that's cool, man. Yeah. Now, have you had any crazy fan encounters on these tours? <laughs> Outside of the groups, yeah. Go ahead and uh, take a drink to that, brother. You know, you know them. They're gonna be out yep. there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Um, I went to Cancun with Polly D. I'm Sick. Gonna, wow. Say MTV now. Spring Break. Sick. Polly D. And wow. it was just like, I know that's crazy. People like 200 yards away would recognize this guy, you know, yeah. because he's just so like recognizable. So he if is. you're just if you're just within like a 50 foot radius of him, it's like even, you're yeah. getting. Yeah. yeah. There's Who's no there? Who's that? Why are you with him? Oh, you know, you know. Business, business guy. You know. uh, he's got an Instagram, uh, right? Showing yeah. Instagram. He's he just, like, with Polly just D. like a fake name. Uh -huh. like, it doesn't matter. It's just like, he's got like 10 in line. So you, you just got, like, you're already like, your chances are good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's how this game goes, doesn't it? But right. yeah, just after seeing him and that, that, he really inspired me because not only he's super famous and like, He's a crazy hard worker. Like he'd be like hosting MTV Spring Break at 11 a.m., then like work out, then like hit a show at 4 or 6 p.m., and then we'd like go to a club and he performs again, and then he's like up the next morning, and I'm like, and this fool's like still hitting the gym and like, <laughs> and still like being cool to everyone right. and like <clears throat> not turning down a picture from a fan and just like, I was like, Dog, however, whatever you're doing is working. <laughs> working. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, I think he's doing. He's he, he he's looking at that Wells Fargo account. <laughs> 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 to change, to change, to change, to change. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's get up and uh, keep doing this. That money is sure. motivation, baby. Uh, yeah, for this. sure, bro. Yeah. <laughs> for uh, sure. He just seemed like really. Uh, he was down to earth. Yeah, you know, no doubt. Yeah, so that was cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen some of his sets. He's awesome for sure, man. Yeah, he, yeah. he has a good set. He does. <laughs> it's chill <laughs> for sure. So, where are you at right now with your goals for this year? Man, I want to. Um, I want to make this as big as we can. You know, <laughs> this is like really exciting for me right now. I love starting. <laughs> you know, so like I'm really like good at like getting right. started and getting <clears throat> going. You know, working on that follow through, and this is yeah. something that I, I know has legs. And you know, I've been joking with my friends. It's like. I've been doing music 10 years. Not very many people have offered to give me money for music, but I've already had like yeah. 10 people like, who have money. Like, oh, well, what's up with this? Yeah, yeah we can talk. Right? So I'm like figuring that out, talking to other people who are in the, in the space and, you know, that kind of thing. But I definitely want to make this as big as possible. And, uh, I want to get back in the studio, man. Uh, make you. some music. Make an album. Because I've just, yeah, I want to make an album. Got bro, you. Right on, it's, man. It's tough, but it's just like, it that, is, it's just course. in me, you know? Yeah, like, for sure. I'll be like all day, like, damn, I didn't even like do think about music one time today, you know? Right. So, you know, I want to, I want to definitely get back and tap into that. Yeah. You know how it goes, bro. Single, 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 and then build the mm -hmm. album. But I want to, like, I want to, like you said, make a whole project. Just create, mm -hmm. like, and, you know, you could put it out any way you want, but just create something that's like a body of work because it's been a few years since I put out a body of work that really feels like, even when I listen to it today, I'm like, this shit was classic, you know? Mm. It's classic. So I just want to make something like that because, you okay. know, you never know, you never promised anything. And, 
you know, time on this earth and facts, bro. You know, facts. whatever, yeah. whatever I can leave behind, man. Like that's what I want to do. Remember you forever, bro. Yeah. Right. If so. you, any artist, I always tell them that. You know, definitely when you start making music, man, they're gonna remember you forever. You mm -hmm. know, especially if you make something classic. You know. Yeah. Even always with, and even with this bro any type of art or like you put this shit out you never know what it can do and exactly live forever facts well, you know so true that's man. definitely one thing we have been doing we've been <laughs> forever, <laughs> forever together yeah. well this space that we've gotten into is, is cool man you know we kind of got ahead of the curve because we've seen where this you know platform would take us mm -hmm. so but you know building it is tough you know of course. you know you know you already know how that goes so the investments the sacrifices and everything that it takes is always uh you know Nobody cries over spilt milk, so we just keep yeah. moving forward. Bro. Stay consistent. <laughs> that's, the, that's the beauty in this beast right yeah. there. Yeah, absolutely. Yep, yeah. and the, now we're at the positive period of the podcast. Right. See so how we is, did that? So is there any anything you want to leave the compadres at home yeah. watching or listening with? Yeah, I think just on that, bro, like, uh, that's why I'm always pushing, like, this, like, do what you want to do, you know? Because when, when I'm doing what I want to do, I'm going to do it better, I'm going to do it harder, I'm going to do it longer. Right. And so it's just like, and then I want to do it more. And then people are like, yo, I'm f***ing with that. And I'm like, cool. And so I was like, you know, I think what you guys are doing is dope. And just, you know, doing, doing, falling, chasing that feeling, you know? Yeah. That feeling that makes you feel alive, chasing that, that's all I want to do. Hmm. You know? Uh. Click like that, that, Ricky. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like, well, we might even have to tell him. He's like... That needs to be cleaned. <laughs> oh, I'm always paying Hell attention. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> now, that was dope, bro, for sure. What you got? Which one you guys want to take? Oh, no, he's going uh -oh. last. <laughs> I'm going guess, last. I guess I should call Shotgun next time for that. <laughs> Probably be a good idea. <laughs> All right. So, I got something. Yeah. And it's, it's off the top. Yeah. But let's go ahead and stop using objects to objectify ourselves. Mm. Or objecting fire ourselves, but not wanting to be established as an object. Mm. So that goes both ways. You know, I don't want to, you know, shame anybody or say anything, but I'll just leave it at this. Let's stop getting these crazy items, thinking that that's what makes us better than somebody else or better than ourselves. Mm. You know, and also let's stop using our selves as objects if we don't want to be objectified. Mm. You know, just self-respect and self-love goes a long way. And if you have self-love, self-respect, you love and respect other people. Hell yeah. That's all I got. Damn, oh, that was Amen, a lot, bro. bro. <laughs> I don't know that's all you saying, all you got. You just threw another <laughs> dime out again. Uh, not everybody tells the truth, and you don't believe everybody. And there's a lot of clickbait and a lot of people that, you know, want to benefit off of things that are negative from people. So uh, I learned that. Uh, you know, a long time ago, but it really came up this week. And, you know, I was, you know, trying to look for motivation this week to talk about on this podcast. And uh, I will say this, that's, let's just leave that behind, right? Let's just, let's just move forward as, as human beings and realize everybody's a human being and that we should just treat each other the same way. So that's all I got with that one. What you got, Joe? That's what I'm talking about. Right. right. Um, <clears throat> I really think sometimes in life that people don't realize how much it is just to breathe. And when that air goes thin around you, you really need to take a look in that mirror or just sit down and just breathe and find your moment of clarity and realize everything is going to be okay. You're going to make it through. I mean, just being here for another day is enough for a lot of people. And it's enough for me. So that's all I wish to see every day is have another day to be with you guys and meet my new buddy over here and everything else. So that's all I have to say. Hey, Amen. Y'all going to be running into each other at my job. Amen. For sure. Clip that, Ricky. We'll probably run into him each other at the bar. <laughs> now. He, he, when he called out, he wanted to have a drink. That means he wants to go to the <laughs> bar, bro. That's right. Okay. That's Ricky right. watches every episode. That's yeah. where we're going that. right now. He'll probably join us as well. We could be. Shoot, with all the beers I got so at the house, I'm going to have a big, big beer pong tournament. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, here, man, hold yes. on, hold on, hold on. Let's start it. Start it. But yes, Tell ladies and right gentlemen, now. Very soon, and it'll be on the gram and all other places. But I will be hosting a beer pong tournament at my house. Don't get shot up, bro. Let's I need a couple slots. I need a couple slots for teams. Yeah, I already have a winner's uh, crown. Okay, yeah. so you know it is what it is. It's just like Mortal Kombat. You might as well. Y'all got to go up the ladder to see Shao Kahn. I think this is a great <laughs> idea, yeah. and I won't participate in it. Hold on, hold on, no, hold on, no, no, no. I'll part. I'm not going to participate <laughs> in the tournament, but what I will participate in a is the action. Oh, oh God! Oh. 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 Oh.
the beer pong bucky. Uh, uh-huh. we're, you're gonna bring love, all right? Yeah, yeah. Case is there. Yeah, and uh, you might as well just you know pass that crown over to me, man. Hey. <laughs> Sorry. Ah, you, you, gotta, you gotta take it, brother. You gotta I'm take it. I'm telling you, those slow boys, man. Yeah. They no. might have invented that. Drink a no. lot of beer. Me and, yep. me, me and P are partners, so yeah. you know, already know what that is. Now, now I'll Shannon, take I know you're going to be watching this. I'm taking that. Don't bets. be upset. Don't be upset. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. Where can we find you? What are we doing? What do you got going? What's the next? Let's, let's yeah. IGs, What's the next everything. Tour? What's your, uh, yeah. yeah. Handle, tags, all that. Mr. James K, everywhere, man. Shout out to Compadres for having me, bro. Thank you guys so much. We appreciate um, you, brother. Run it up, subscribe. You know, we'll be back. Thank you guys. Yes, yes, yes. yes. We, we will have him back yeah, for well, sure. Well, we still got time on the clock. I mean, what else are we going to so, do? Come on. So, yeah, next tour. Mm. Any not insight sure. on that? I don't know. I'm not sure yet, man. He said I'm album. Mm. Hard, okay. hard seltzer tour. Oh, you know, passes he's baby pushing around. the seltzer, man. Yeah, I love it. He should. Love it. Yeah, he's good, yeah. dude. Thanks, man. Yeah, mine's gone. Yeah, album, man. I mean, that's, oh, yeah, when I you get in the album mode, music, it's right? yeah, that's a, yeah, that's a different ball game. I just want to lock in yep. and just be um, not go anywhere for a while. Yeah. Stay uh, in L.A. I mean, summer in California, L.A., like, what yeah. else What else could you want? Absolutely. Just do what LeBron James does in the, you know, in the playoffs. Yeah. Turn everything off and just go straight into the zone. Yeah, bro. So <laughs> I'll be around definitely um, experiencing uh, all that L.A. has to offer and just putting that into into the next project. Heck Sick, yeah, heck dude. Yeah, sure. Now on the DJ tip, yeah, is there anything that we should be looking forward to in that? Um, <laughs> Preston keeps. I'm, I'm like, I'm like, hey man, I can go ahead and set up some stuff at my house set. for this big pond tournament, <laughs> and do, do, you know, do, do, whenever we throw the long haul pop ups, I usually yeah, will spend a little bit, there, yeah. and I'm just like, I'm just playing two thousands. R&B jams, nice. man. So I was yeah. just like, it's a cheat code. Dude. It's, it cheating. Always is. it's like, oh, you guys like Usher? <laughs> oh, a little you know? Pretty Ricky? Yeah. yeah, Pretty Ricky, man. Uh, exactly. Pretty Ricky is mm-hmm. fire yeah. for sure. It's Actually, him every time. There's this girl, uh, she just helped with the last event. Her and her IG is Pretty Ricky. I'm going to shout her out. <laughs> and so just all night, I was like, what song should I play? <laughs> Where would I be without you? <laughs> That Ja Rule Shanti moment. Doom, doom, doom. Oh, man. Everybody that be living it up. What? Hey. Yeah. Shoot. We talked about that. So at that time, you know, what? Tyrese, was he still doing that? Oh, yeah. You know, Let's Joe had some stuff going on. Yeah, yeah, we had a bunch had of shit. Some people. Mm-hmm. Avon, I can go on. Uh, that's dope. I leave man. that R and B to you know. <laughs> Classic. Oh, Even man. though I got a playlist hidden. <laughs> Ah, man, so I want you to take us out of here, P. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are at the time where you know what to do. Follow, like, and subscribe. For sure. And that's at C-O-M-P-O-D-R-E-S. Not just for the YouTube, but wherever you find your you know podcast, whether you're watching or listening. To my right, Ilsa himself. I am underscore Ilsa. And also to my right, Joe Rosati himself. I am the real Joe Rosati. I like that. The real. <laughs> I like mm-hmm. that. Mark's in the back, y'all. He's always the mastermind behind the master plan. Shout out, Mark. And please, 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 ladies and gentlemen, give a big thank you to Mr. James K for thank stepping you guys. in with us. Thank, thank you, you brother. Thank, thank you, big dog. And like that, compadres, we're going. All the wins. Yeah. Ain't no L's. Gotta get a no call and quit. Yeah. Gotta keep on moving no matter how hard it gets. Yeah.